Finally this evening, for many combat veterans returning home after serving their country, it's difficult to regain confidence after a traumatic experience. Which is why the Veterans No Boundaries program exists, to help them get that confidence back through activities like winter sports, whether it's one they've done before or maybe the first time. News Center Maine's Caroline LaCour has more from Sunday River. Hitting the slopes each winter is second nature for some, but poses a challenge for others, especially those who live with a disability. Many of them came back, came home and said, I can't do X, Y or Z. I can't do that anymore. Well, yes, you can. To help foster confidence and to simply have some fun, the Veterans No Boundaries Ski Camp gives vets disabled by war a chance to challenge themselves through winter sports. All right, who's ready to ski? I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. With a whole team and their family members cheering them on. And the cool thing is when they go home, we hear, oh, I can't do that. And they're like, oh, wait a minute. You just came down that mountain. Put on by the main adaptive sports and recreation, the program has grown from its start 20 years ago, with 20 participants from around the country strapping into skis this year, one of whom is Nancy Hamlin, making the trip from West Bath. I came to VNB maybe five or six years ago, and I was too afraid to ski, so I did snowshoeing with them then. Yeah, good, thanks for but this year she's looking like a pro, skiing for the first time with the help of volunteer instructors. I am prone to falling and being hurt a lot. I don't want to fall and get hurt again, but they, they really help with that. They help with the nervousness. And By using adaptive ski equipment, participants are not only able to try out the sport, but take control and learn in their own way. She is a learner who learns by doing and feeling versus me using my words. We have to be very skilled at alternative ways of teaching other than just talking. One of the bigger things for a lot of people with psychological wounds and injuries is they don't want to start something new because they're afraid of who they're going to meet there. Bob Chaplow has been skiing for years and oftentimes taught during his deployment. He says each year skiers have a blast, but it's the camaraderie that shines through. When you have somebody that's going to stick with you, that makes your success almost guaranteed. Building up confidence both on and off the slopes. In Newry, Caroline LaCour, New Center, Maine. That confidence can make all the difference. It does. You can see they're bundled up there, too. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs>